and the south side. And this is pretty typical. Um, the south side is a wall that runs parallel to the shoreline. And it starts from the beach, uh, goes off at a very gentle slope. You get about 100 yards offshore, 15 to 30 feet of water. And this falls off basically a straight wall. There's a blip at around 100, 150 feet. Then it runs down and you get another maybe 100 yards off and you're in 600 to 3,000 plus feet of water in most places. Um, the north side, uh, there's a fringing surface barrier reef that runs up the whole length of the island. Consequently, uh, it's entirely different. You have a reef lagoon which is an eight to a quarter of a mile wide three to 20 feet deep, mostly seagrass, some patch corals, very narrow and limited channels, both in depth and width, um, and basically almost no good deep all weather harbors on the north side. But not only Rotan, but Granada, Utila, and in fact, the mainland of, of Honduras. And then you've got um, the crest breaking the surface here. And then on a four side, you've got three plateaus. You've got one at around 15 to 30, another one at 30 to 40, third one at 60 to 80, and then you've got a straight wall structure just on this side. Um, the north side is the lee side of the, of the islands most of the year. The only time it isn't is when in the wintertime when the northers come in then the north side becomes untenable. The advantage to diving on the south side is that you have a very high amount of usable no decompression time on the wall, and we can dive 365 days a year. The only time we can't allow is for a hurricane. 